And the dirty little secret here, Willie. Outrage as MSNBC host Stephanie Rule claims Americans can afford to pay more as cost of living soars, says dirty little secret is that households saved money over pandemic and can now afford expensive groceries. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel, dedicated to reviewing news stories, support the channel by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing, leaving a comment, and sharing. Sources will be linked in the description so you can read the full details yourself. The main article further states, the dirty little secret here, Willie. While nobody likes to pay more, on average, we have the money to do so, MSNBC's Stephanie Rule said. Rule argued that retail prices and market values going up are proof that while Americans are complaining about something that could promptly be fixed. Rule cited government monetary aids as a reason that Americans should be able to afford the record high increase on the price of living. Stock prices, retail increase and market value are not indicatives of a strong economy, outraged Twitter users pointed out. Just in October, the Department of Labor reported a 6.2% increase in the Consumer Price Index, the largest annual increase since 1990. And Stephanie joins me now live. Steph, it's great to see you. As you say, inflation's over 6%, numbers we haven't seen in more than 30 years. So how much higher can these prices go and when do you see them coming down? Well, listen, Willie, nobody knows exactly when they're going down, but you have to put all this in perspective. This inflation is not in isolation, and the government predicted it was going to be a challenging recovery, recovery all tied to COVID. So it's why you see things like that expanded child tax credit. You've got the families of over 60 million kids on average getting $430 a month. For people on fixed incomes, older people on Social Security, they're getting those fixed payments adjusted next year up 5.9 percent for inflation and the dirty little secret here Willie while nobody likes to pay more on average we have the money to do so household savings hit a record high over the pandemic we didn't really have anywhere to go out and spend and as we said a moment ago we're expecting retail sales this holiday season to break records for those who own their homes the value of our homes are up and while the stock market isn't the economy you got over half of American households with some investment in the markets, and the markets have hit record highs. So we need to put all of this in perspective. This time last year, when you and I were talking, Willie, nobody had a vaccine. Now 200 million Americans do, and we're seeing this push of demand, and that's pushing up pricing. Did she really just say that the middle class and people struggling have a dirty little secret? Shake my head on just that alone. According to MarriedBiography.com, Stephanie Rule earns $200,000 per year, and has a net work over $5 million. Does she not understand that people save money for safety and for retirement, not to pay more for everything? Maybe she thinks that when people's businesses closed or lost their jobs and they had no income that the stimulus check was enough for them to save and use now. Or she thinks that elderly and disabled people on fixed incomes magically saved money and can now pay more for goods. She either lacks self-awareness or she is a rich puppet following orders and saying what they are asking her to say. This is a prime example of rich elites acting snobby, know-it-alls, with all their money, while others suffer to make ends meet. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.